finished the makeup palette, I put on the little lid, ow, put on the lid, I put the palettes in, and I made the brush. So now we're going to make, hold on, let me put this in here. Now we're going to make this other, one of my other favorite palettes. Let me put this together really quick so that it's like this because it's breaking apart. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna grab a dotting tool so they go together. If you have to, you can put a, get a dotting tool to put them together so that they stick. So you just you know, like rub them together with your finger, but because I don't have a lot of room for my finger, that's why I'm using this dotting tool. Because I don't have a lot of room. It fits perfectly for the size, and then I'm gonna close it, and then I'm gonna put it back on, and then I'm gonna put it like that, and then we're gonna put it with the other things right there. So we're gonna make this palette. I don't know how to pronounce it. Clinic Q, something like that. Looks like this. We're gonna make this. So what you wanna do is grab white. Get half of it. I'm trying to get it. Yeah. Super hurt to break it apart. Ah. And you want to put it into a square. <laughs> you want to make it, you want to flatten it out. And you just want to put it in a square. Cut it into a square, so just flatten it as, doesn't have to be thin, like super thin, doesn't have to be super thick, but you want to make it about the perfect size to put the palettes on it, or the little, to put all the, um, hold on, let me fix this, put it lower right here, so you guys can see better, okay, there, is that better, yep, that's a lot better. So you just want to put it like this, grab your X-Acto knife, and you want to cut it into a perfect, well it doesn't have to be perfect because no one's perfect, um, except for a computer, but that's not a person, and you just want to cut it into a square, a really big square, so it should be about this. Just like this, maybe a, let me do a little bit clean up there, and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna add all this excess, the one that I cut off, and then I'm gonna put it on there, and then we're gonna cut it to fit it perfectly. And so we just want to. Flatten it as much as we can, and then cut it, just so that it's bigger, and see it should be bigger, we just need to cut it just a tiny bit more so it's a square, and I guess we can leave it, yeah I'm going to leave it a rectangle, it's easier. So this is how it should be, a rectangle or a square, but so because I don't have enough white, well, I guess I can make it a really big square, and I need it to be thicker anyways. So where did that come from? I'm just going to throw it in there. Um, you want to get most of your white. I'm going to do about this much more. And we're just going to knead it so it's a little bit easier to work with. So you just want to keep kneading it. And then flatten it. Pretty thick. You don't want it too thin. Or else it just won't look good. And so there. When you're done with that, you just want to cut it into a square. Whoa, this is thick. Okay, 
cut it, cut it, and cut it. Um, it's not actually a lot bigger, so we're gonna put this back on. It's actually smaller. We'll cut again, and then we're gonna get this. Put it on there, and then we're gonna trim it again. Pick that, and we're just gonna keep doing this until it's a nice square. Should look like this. Then I'm going to show you the tool we're going to be using to make the little indents for the little palettes. You want to get this. Hold on, wait. Let me try to find a good tool. This one, you're going to use this end, not the sharp end. Ow, that really hurts. This end. And so, if you can see that, we're gonna do this, we're going to do this. We're first going to start off with the little square in the center. So what you want to do is grab your exacto knife and you just want to lightly cut it just tiny. You want to do all of those. Two, both the squares and then the two rectangles. There, and then you just want to grab the tool. You just want to indent the inside. I think instead of that tool, we should use this one. Not the maybe the pointy end, just to really indent it. Pick up this little. You just want to indent. Not a huge, like don't cut it, just a little indent so that you can put it your little palettes. Um, first off, what we're gonna do is you want to keep you just wanna I'm gonna be back when I'm done in when I'm done indenting. Okay, then you wanna grab the closest color to these these are the colors. You have a brown, a black, a light pink, and a darkish purplish pinkish color thing so i'm gonna get that super light pink gonna get a pretty thin and then you just want to cut it you just want to flatten it as thin as you can get it and then you just want to grab your exacto knife and cut it about the same size just about the same size. Doesn't have to be perfect, but do you want it to fit right in there? So then you're gonna pick that square up. And you just want to flatten it inside of the little area. And then what you want to do is grab your finger, put it, if you don't have the palette, then you don't have to do this, but I'm going to put it on my finger, and I'm just going to put it on there so it sort of just helps it a little bit, match the color. Or if you want, you can also do this, just rub your finger on the color and just put it inside of the palette like this but because it's not really like um what you call it like it doesn't pop up on it i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna grab my finger and do that because it's a lot easier it just makes it look like it's old and it's been used and then you want to grab this brown if you have it and you just want to put it 
inside of that little. Let's do the same exact thing. And you just want to roll it out. And I'm going to grab the same, this little tool. I'm just going to flatten it out in there. And I'm just going to put the color. Just going to get it, go around it. Just going to get the color and go around the palette so it looks like it's old. Make it look used and stuff. And then you want to grab that black. I'm trying to speak, but I can't. And you just want to roll it. On. You just want to get it and put it inside the same thing. You want to do the same exact thing, then get the black. And you want to put it around. Just get the closest color you have to the palette, put it on, and put it in there. Like I had the dark, 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 dark green, which is actually a black, but it looks green and I put it in the palette and then I grab the color on my finger and it looks black see because I put this color on it and I put it in there and now it looks black I think I might do that I think I might get a whole bunch of this put it on there and mix it see what it turns out to be I think that's a 